my server. I'm going to be showing my fusion reactor today. This is the little room I started out in. I've come a little bit farther from here. I used to have uh, my two furnaces here, and I had some chests over here. Well, since then I've got a little bit farther, I have my little bed frame rate. Here I have my uh, farming turtles. Uh, here I have my cows. And Make sure you increase perm gen size in uh Okay, this here is a little furnace thing I got going. It eats metal and it spits them out. It's got a little face there, it'll scare you. Ooh. This also eats metal. This is a uh, thumb and thinker. This is my old fuel production here. Uh, this is my tree farm. It automatically gets farmed. It automatically gets planted. It automatically farms it. Those things turn it into biofuel. Come down here. Oh, I need a better computer. Come down here. As you can see, this is my farm. Well, what I wanted to show you is all the way down here to the bottom of this hole. My tanks here. Wow. Uh, Fraps is actually clearing up my screen so I can see. This is steam. Uh, I'm backwards. Okay, this is water. This is just uh, for making deuterium. Uh, basically, it's very simple to do. I just have two infinite water sources pumping water into it. If I needed more water, I'd put a third one up there. This is biofuel. That's from that old fuel production I showed you up there. This tank is almost full. As you can see, it's got 19 million out of 20 million. Got a million more to go. When this uh, hits the cap, I'm going to shut it off. Shut off my production. Now this is steam. This is what I'm producing now. It's a form of energy. Uh, I have 13 million steam. Now where's that coming from, you might ask? That's coming from this room over here. Let's see if I can jump up that hole. Hey, I missed. Try that again. Here we go. This here on the left, that is my ME system cabling. This is the water coming from that huge tank, and this is steam coming out. This is my bioreactor. My fusion reactor, excuse me. This here, this makes the, the fuel for it. Uh, all this does, I could actually make this anywhere I can get the water, but I decided to make it in here. Uh, it comes in here. It gets tin, in which I'm going to have to tell it how to make those things, because apparently it doesn't know anymore. Which could be a problem. I don't how many deuterium cells do I have left? I have to do that soon. This is my ME system. I was like, come here and I click and I D E. Uh, I have 32 left. That's not many. This thing eats through them pretty fast. Come in here and you can see what it does. Inside here, in the center, is a fusion reactor. Fusion reactor produces heat, which, or electromagnetic heat, I guess you'd call it, which is caught by these electromagnets. It's still boiling right now because I had it turned on. It's turned off right now, but it's still hot, very hot. It produces the, the plasma in there, which boils the water. The water is caught by these heat vents, by these steam vents. The steam vents take all the steam. They funnel it out. Uh, some of it gets funneled that way. Some of it comes over here, where it goes in my turbines, where I'm producing it directly into power. Uh, eventually, these are going to be full, so we'll need let's turn this thing on. What this does it won't load the trolley in it unless this is turned on. So I hit this switch. 
when I turn that off, I crash. <laughs> it's funny, I don't know what. Oh, what happened? It turned off. I didn't crash. Okay, stay on. Now you should see this start heating up. It should warm up. It's warming up right now. There it goes. Hear that humming? That's the uh, fusion reactor. Should be actually wearing uh, my gear here. Uh, I don't actually play in creative, but for some reason, last time I played this game, it keeps putting me in creative mode. Stupid. I gotta fix that. That's how I updated it. So, this is my fusion reactor. And what it's doing now is producing steam, which is how they work. Now, this is, I like this a lot better than the IC2 reactor's little box produces power. No, this is how they are like in real life. Here I have six turbines. Each of these turbines is actually made of nine small turbines. So that's nine times uh, six, that's 54 individual turbines. I could run a lot more than that. I am uh, offloading this steam. I'm probably losing something because I probably can't grab all the steam at once. I probably get a lot of fuel. Uh, and there should be rising rather quickly. Yeah, I see 20, 21, 22. It seems to be 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000. Pretty fast. So I'll sit here and watch this rise a little bit. And this is my fusion reactor. And I just wanted to show it to you. Uh, fusion reactors are uh, safer than uh, fission reactors. Fission reactors uh, will blow up. That's the one we have nowadays. Fusion reactors are the opposite. Fu a fission reactor will take an element, it's the Atom Smasher, and break it up into two elements. And you get energy that way because the two elements uh, are lighter than the element you broke up, and it releases the energy. F fusion is the opposite way. You take two elements and you combine them together and you make a uh, lighter element, I guess, and they lose weight. So E equals MC squared, you gain energy. And that's how they work. Alright, thank you everybody. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Uh, if you want, if I get enough likes on this, I can show you how to make your own. This um, is actually done from a number of different uh, mods I watch. A number of different people I watch. Some of the best methods to do it. Uh, as you'll notice, most do a ring around theirs. This one has this one where the coils come straight out. Uh, it seems to be rather efficient. I get a lot of uh, steam from this. Alright, thank you, and I will talk to you later. This is part of logging off.